is Mentors English Express and I am Sudha Oberoi. In my previous video of the poem The Ball Part 1, I had explained the complete poem and literary devices to the students of class 10th. In this part 2 of the same poem, I am going to explain you the important points, questions based on extract, few short answers and long answer. Here are the important points of the poem. The boy loses his ball while playing near the harbour. Now the ball goes into the water. Now he sees everything happening before his eyes but he is helpless and shocked as he is not able to retrieve the ball. Now it may appear an ordinary incident to a grown up but it is a great loss for the child because ball here symbolizes childhood and the boy has lost his happy days like the ball. Now the poet who was watching from a distance wants to console him. He has got sympathy with him. He wants to console by giving him money but then he leaves him all alone to learn from his bitter experience. The poet is also feeling sad because the boy is Sad, he's standing rigid and nervous, he's trembling and he's staring at the ball because he will not be able to retrieve it. So the poet is aware that the innocent childhood would not come back to him, not even with the money. This is very important. With money we can buy anything, but we cannot buy the thing which we have lost. We may buy identical Things but not the thing which we have lost. So finally the boy comes to the terms and he realizes the harsh reality of life. The harsh reality of life is that things will be lost and he will have to cope up. He, will, he should not brood over them. He should move ahead in his life. And finally he learns to cope up with the loss. Now such losses occur in everyone's life. It is better to learn to cope up with them to lead a peaceful life. I hope children these points have helped you recall the complete poem. Here are questions based on extracts. These questions are going to further clarify the poem to you. Let us see stanza 1. What is the boy who has lost his ball? What, what is he to do? I saw it go. Merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in water. No use to say oh there are other balls. Now what kind of questions you can get. What has the boy lost? So the boy has lost his ball. Now why is the boy upset? If you get this question he is upset because he has lost his ball. Now there are three pronouns used in second line. He, I and it. They are used for different people and things. He is used for boy. I is used for poet and it is used for ball. Now where did the ball go? It went into the water. Then uh, no use to say. Who said these words? The poet said these words. Now what is the poet's reaction towards the boy? He is surprised also, worried also and he has got sympathy with the child. Now the poet says, oh there are other balls. Now he doesn't want to show sympathy to the child. Now why he doesn't want to show sympathy to this child? Though his heart says that he should console the child. He thinks that the boy is too grieved to listen to anyone. So he leaves him on his own. So the boy has lost his ball. He is used for boy. I for poet. It is used for ball. And the ball goes inside the water. The reaction of the poet is that he is worried. And he says that there are other balls also which he can buy but he doesn't want to console him because he is too worried and would not listen to anyone. Stanza 2. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy. As he stands rigid, trembling, staring down all his young days into the harbour where his ball went, I would not intrude on him a dime another ball is worthless. Now how has the loss of ball affected the child? The child has become grieved. You can write he has become stiff 
or motionless. He is trembling. He has become nervous and he is staring at the ball. Now, where is the ball going? Yeah, where has the ball gone? It has gone into the harbor. What else has gone along the ball? His young days. Young days means his childhood memories have gone along with the ball into the harbor. I is used for poet. Now, poet once again would not like to intrude. Why? Intrude means interfere. Now, why he would not like to intrude? Because no amount of sympathy is going to reduce his grief. Dime is currency, small amount and this is a petty amount with which a ball can be bought. You can also get questions like pick up a word which means final. So ultimate is the word or motionless. So rigid is the word. Trembling. You might get shaking. You have to pick up the word trembling and interfere. Intrude is the word for interfere. Stands us three. Now he senses his first responsibility in a world of possessions. People will take balls. Balls will be lost always. Little boy and no one buys a ball back. Money is external. Now what has the loss of ball taught the child? So the loss of a ball has made him responsible. It has taught him his first responsibility. Now, what does the ball signify? Ball signifies happy, innocent days of childhood. What does the word possession mean? Possession means to own things. And why does the poet say money is external? Money is external because... Money cannot buy the thing which we have lost, though it can buy the thing identical to it. You can even get questions like name the poem and the poet. So poem is the ball and poet is John Berryman. Stanza 4. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up, knowing what every man must one day know. And most know many days how to stand up. Now what is the child learning from this bitter experience? So the child has learned to cope up with the loss. Why are the boy's eyes desperate? They are desperate because he is sad as he has lost his ball. What does the word epistemology mean? Epistemology means nature of loss. What every man needs to know one day. So every man needs to know that he might face loss and he needs to learn to cope up with it. And most know many days how to stand up. What do people know? Most of the people know how to cope up with the loss. These are the types of questions which you can get in your exams. Children, here are short answer questions. I am just going to give you value points. You can elaborate them. Because I am very sure that the poem is very clear to you now and you will be able to write. If you find any difficulty in writing the answers, you can go to my Facebook page, the link of which is given in the description box below. Now question number one is, why did the poet not console the child? Here, not console, you have to give the answer to this. Now there are two reasons that he did not console the child because he was too shocked to listen to anyone. And the boy was learning to cope up with the loss on his own. Your next question is, a ball is easily available, then why is the boy sad? Now, the boy is sad because it was a prized possession for the boy. His childhood memories were attached to it. And after losing the ball, he felt a void in his life. And he felt a craving for those wonderful days, innocent days of his life. Question number three is what shows that the boy was shattered? So this answer is very simple. He was standing rigid, trembling, staring at the ball. Question number four is why does the poet say balls will be lost? Now here balls are the materialistic things and materialistic things get destroyed. We keep on losing them because nothing is permanent in this world. 
सो दैट इज वाई द पोएट से बॉल्स विल बी लॉस्ट जो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज डज द बॉल स्टैंड फॉर मेटाफर ऑफ लॉस्ट चाइल्डहुड येस द चाइल्डहुड मेमरीज वर एसोसिएटेड विद द बॉल्स हिज केयर फ्री हैप्पी डेज वर लॉस्ट विद द बॉल नो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज हाउ इज द बॉय लर्निंग द epistemology of loss now the boy has understood that nothing is permanent in this world so we will lose whatever we gain some day in our life this is law of nature so the sooner one understands the wiser he becomes question number 7 is he senses first responsibility what responsibility is referred to here now the responsibility is to learn to cope up with the loss so the child has now realized the harsh realities and learn to cope up with the loss what is the theme of the poem the theme of the poem is very very important it introduces us to harsh realities of life it tells us that we may lose things in our life which are very dear to us so we must not get sad neither we must brood over them but learn to cope up with them this is going to give us peace in our life here is a long answer for you should the boy be allowed to grieve over the ball if his loss is irreparable then how should it be handled what lessons can be learned from this poem so this question has got three parts now the child should be left all alone to introspect introspect means think because when he will introspect he will understand the facts and reality faster one must not intrude in matters because it would disturb the thought processes and the disturbance might break the chain and he might feel irritated and the loss can further worsen the grief can further worsen now besides grieved person wants some peace and he is not interested in sermons because he wants to be at peace and think over the loss so self realization is effective and lasting children i hope the poem is clear to you and you will be able to answer the questions confidently now you can download this complete text from my facebook page the link of which is given below in the description box children if you have enjoyed this video like share and subscribe it you may also post your comments in the comments box below thank you